Hey kids, it's time for another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming with your host, Mortimer! KKG! KKG! Yay! Hey YouTube, it's Mortimer, and welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing New Leaf. And if you guys missed it, last time I gave you guys a tour of my town. Uh, definitely go back and check it out if you missed it, because uh, that's probably one of the most requested videos I have for Animal Crossing. But today I'm going to go through and we're just going to start fixing up my town. We're going to start deleting all of the old QR codes so we can lay down new ones. Um, so this is just basically a cleanup episode. I'm just going to go around and clean up everything and so we can have a fresh, clean canvas to start off with when we start decorating the town. Uh, so, uh, to get rid of um, the QR codes on the ground, uh, you have to kind of stomp them out. And the way you do that is uh, by hitting Y. And I'm just going to erase all of them like that so you can build a new stuff. Um, I'm going to leave this path here. Uh, so we can kind of have a template of where to put the, la the new path. But, uh, but yeah, we can just put new... Um, new QR codes over those. Now you can only have, I think, like eight QR codes per character. And, uh, oops, uh, that means that you can only have, like one character has the path, another character has like a, like this little checkerboard pattern. Um, another character might have water designs, but you basically only have three characters per town. So after that, you're kind of, you're kind of out of QR codes. You need to work with what you got. Uh, so whenever you change one, it changes whatever you have in the town already, and it kind of messes everything up. This makes no sense, but it'll make sense in a bit. I promise. Now that, there's some new houses in town. I don't know who these people are. So I started playing Animal Crossing with the last Animal Crossing on the Wii. What was it called? I'm not sure. It's, it's gonna come to me later, but uh, I was instantly addicted, and uh, I am the type of person in Animal Crossing who likes to make flower fields in the game. I like to make uh, like whole uh, fields of like different types of flowers, and uh, I like to grow the really weird, obscure flowers and things like that, and uh, I would water them all every single day. I was really OCD about it. Um, and then I was like, I'm gonna fast forward it by a day, because I'd never done, uh, the time skipping. A lot of people like to play the game where they get tired of waiting for things to grow, so they will change the clock on their DS or their Wii or whatever, so that the DS or the Wii thinks that it's, you know, later than it actually is, so more stuff will have grown. And I had never done this before, and I was like, this sounds like a great idea, I'm gonna do that, so I can grow my flowers faster. And uh, instead of putting it forward one day, I put it forward a year. And I killed everything in my town. It was such a nightmare. And up until that point, I had been playing that game pretty much every day. I would turn it on for like 10 minutes in the morning, play it, and then I would go on with my day. Uh, but uh, after that happened, I just couldn't play it anymore. I just gave it up. I couldn't. And, you know, that's very similar to what happened with New Leaf. When I stopped playing this game, I stopped playing for a day, and then I just didn't have the heart to pick it back up again. So, I mean, that's kind of a weird strategy for a game, and, and I wonder, does anybody else have that out there, too? Like, have you guys ever played an Animal Crossing game, like, and were really into it, and then something happened and you just stopped playing altogether? Because uh, usually with games, I'll wean off of them. You know, like with like a puzzle game or something like that. I'll play it a lot until like I, I get sick of it. And then I'll just uh, maybe play it like offhandedly a couple times and wean off it until I don't care about it anymore. But with Animal Crossing, it's just like one and done. So I don't know if that ever happens with any other games out there. But uh, it certainly happened with this one. Uh... And uh, I had a lot of fun visiting my friends' other towns. I'm hoping uh, once I get my town all fixed up, we can get uh, Commander Holly to come over into my town and visit. It would be so fun, right? If you guys haven't seen Commander Holly, I definitely recommend checking out her channel. She does some gameplays, too. And uh, she's all around an awesome and sweet person. Uh, but she also loves Animal Crossing a lot, and it would be really fun to have her here. Thank you. 
So everybody has their favorite Animal Crossing character, and uh, I am not far from that. I also have a favorite character, my dream town character, and his name is Pietro, and he is a clown sheep, uh, which sounds terrifying, but he is the most adorable little sheep I have ever seen. Um, Aaron eager after had him in his town and he was to die for oh my god every time i come over i would joke that i was gonna steal him and i never could because it would break aaron's heart because he was aaron's favorite character too but uh, i would love to have pietro in my town he's so cute yeah i don't know why i just have a thing for sheep they're probably my favorite animal type in this town and then followed by the cats of course cats are cute excuse me so, yeah, just going around cleaning fish up. You know what I haven't showed you guys? We haven't seen the museum yet. I haven't showed you guys, like, what my museum looks like, or uh, any of that stuff. Maybe we should do that next. Oh god, I hate you! Please leave! Uh. God, you know, sometimes I even just like write her letters and just say, I hate you. You know, like, I've never hated a character so much. It's just like... She's not my choice of character. I do not care for her. Why can't you be a sheep? Turn into a sheep. Yeah, it's never gonna happen. Yeah, see, she knows. She knows. I was just chasing her. Man, I hate you. I wonder if she can feel, like, the hate radiating off of me. Just, like, standing right here. Just... I think she gets it. Maybe she'll move out for real this time. I had some golden roses. I don't know what happened to them. Uh, the way to get golden roses is you have to water. I think it's black roses with a watering can. Oh, dying roses with a watering can. That's what it was. And, uh, damn it. Oh, that's okay. Those ones we are getting rid of. And uh, they last forever. They never die. So they're really beautiful. You can decorate your entire town with them and not have to worry about uh, watering your flowers. And a lot of people actually trade them online. Like if you go on Tumblr and uh, look in the Animal Crossing communities, you can find a lot of people on there who will trade you for certain furniture sets and things like that. Uh, I definitely recommend Tumblr for a lot of things uh, Animal Crossing related. Uh, whether you're a fan of Tumblr or not, Tumblr does have a lot of really good resources out there. Uh, including for QR codes and paths, like what you guys see right there. Um, there is a particular Tumblr, uh, and it is called Path Magic at Tumblr, and they have all of the QR codes you could possibly need for countless ground QR codes. They're just awesome. Uh, they update it pretty often. They have everything from all of the Japanese sites. They're just really, really great, and I highly recommend them to you guys. Oh, and when there's a bird up here, that means there's a new message. Let's see what we got. Wow, today is Midge's birthday. Please wish Midge well in this new year of life. Well, that was yesterday. Sorry, Midge. So, oh, I missed a lot of birthdays. Let's erase these. Oh my god, jeez. You miss a year. I love it when they have the fishing and the bug catching tournaments. They're probably my favorite because I'll just spend like an hour trying to catch the best bug or fish that I can. And I turn in tons of entries until I get one that I think is going to win and then I'll, I'll then I'll leave. I also like to post messages on here where I'm just like, fucking get your shit together guys, let's donate to a new thing. Because you can get your uh, town people to donate for new things. I can spell. 
Well, I just realized you guys can't see my bottom screen, so you have no idea what I'm writing. Or, what's on there? Well, there you go, that's what I wrote. Donate today, scum buckets. We need to get some new shit for this town. Get your shit together. All right. I really want to pull those up, but I can water them and bring them back to life. So let's leave them where they are. Let's let the chips fall where they may. I need to get rid of that bedhead. Alright, so next time we'll go to town, we'll check out the museum and get rid of that bedhead. Also, uh, these are not the actual eyes of my character. These are uh, glasses that make you have uh, funny eyes. And I like them because they look like anime character eyes. Because I'm a nerd. You love it. Come on. There's a lot around here. I don't like those. They look... Uh, the dandelions, they just kind of look bad. Flowers are better. Oh no, what's in my pockets? Alright, let's see. inventory all along. All right, let's plant those up here by the house. Check it out. I got some gold roses. Bitch. Beautiful. Dude, so proud of those. I gotta make more of them. All right. Let's plant some more flowers we picked up from around the town. I like flower paths. That was a thing that my town had before. Uh, that it doesn't now was I had <clears throat> flower paths uh, determined by flower color all over the town. So like around this house would be black flowers um, and around the beach uh, path I would have yellow flowers or red flowers. Um, I, I had everything organized by color because I'm a nerd. I don't know if you guys know this or not. Uh, yeah. That's how it goes, man. Alright, well, I guess I'll just go through and do some more cleanup, uh, without you guys. You guys have done enough work detail today, and I guess I'll see you guys all another time, another episode of KKG. Uh, next time we're gonna go into town, and we're gonna check out my museum, we're gonna get our hair did, and maybe some makeup done, and, uh, yeah. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. And please don't forget to subscribe. I have so many more awesome different videos coming up for you guys you don't want to miss. And uh, I'll see you guys all next time with another episode of KKG. Bye, everybody!